Hey guys, so for today's video, I'm actually gonna be doing my September favorites. Um, I don't know what took me so long. I think the month got away from me because I was gone for most of September in Europe. So I'm back now and I'm so excited to do my favorites today because I feel like I have so much good stuff. So the first favorite that I have for September, um, it actually, I got it in October, but it's still like my most favorite thing ever right now. So let me show you guys. Okay, so this is one of my favorites right now. This is the newest addition to my family. She is a little rescue dog. We just got her a few days ago and she doesn't officially have a name yet. We're going through like different names right now to see what suits her personality the most. Um, right now, today, we're calling her Zoe. She's a little rescue. She's eight weeks old. They think she's a cockapoo chihuahua mix. She was actually rescued. Um, there was a homeless man in Palmdale that had a litter of puppies and he was giving them away and she was one of the ones that got to a rescue organization and we got her this weekend and we feel really really lucky we think we can give her a really good home so we're very excited um, I do recommend if anybody's planning on getting a dog I don't recommend getting a dog if you're not ready for one but I really think that you guys should adopt your pet um, I think there's a common misconception that they're unruly dogs, but there's so many sweet dogs that just want a loving home. So I definitely recommend that you guys go online, check out any rescue shelters. Um, I actually found her through PetFinder.com that has a bunch of shelters and rescue organizations that represent their puppies. It's almost like a, a match.com kind of thing. Um, but you can find a puppy that works out for you and then meet them and give them a loving home forever. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you've seen a few pictures of her already and she's like, she's like the sweetest thing ever. She literally sleeps like 80% of the day and then the other 20% she just sits there. So she's pretty much uh, perfect because she matches my energy level at all times. <laughs> she's just as lazy as I am, which is great. Okay, so I'm gonna put her in my lap now. She probably won't wake up. Okay, so that was my first and only non-beauty related item, but I really wanted to share it with you guys. So I have a bunch of other stuff here that I'm excited to share with you also, and I'm gonna go ahead and start with this thing. And if you've been subscribed to my channel for a while, you probably saw this in a Sephora haul that I did months ago. I think it was at least like four or five months ago. But this is the Sephora Gradual Self-Tanning Face Water. Sun in a Bottle is what it's called. Um, and I got this because, as you guys know, if you see any of my tutorials, you know that I have a very fair pale skinned face um, even if I go out in the sunlight it just won't get any color so I finally decided to use this I don't know what took me so long but I started it on Friday I think I did a total of five applications and I get like pretty horrible lighting in the room that I do my makeup in it's pretty dark so I didn't actually notice how much color I was getting um, but yesterday some people pointed out like wow you look really tan what are you doing? I've been using this and I feel like even now when I'm looking at my skin in the uh, screen, I feel like I just have a little bit more color. It's not crazy, it's not orange, but I feel like it still adds a nice kind of, I don't know what the word is, it's like a glowy something to my skin. The only places I put it in is places that I would bronze actually, so I put it all over my forehead. Um, in this area, not on my mustache, and then this area right here, so I didn't put it on areas that I would highlight. I did stop using it because I noticed my face was really tan, <laughs> and I was just so not used to it. I felt, um, I don't know, I felt almost uncomfortable the other day when I did my makeup here in front of a camera, and my face was a different color, um, just because I've never seen it that tan before. But, but this was, I believe, $16. I didn't get any breakouts on the areas that I put it in, and the only thing I don't like about it is it has like a very banana boat, pina colada kind of scent to it, and I just don't like things that have scents at all, so. Okay, my next favorite thing, which I'm actually surprised, I never thought a makeup remover was gonna be something I really, really liked, but it's the Their Real Remover from Benefit Cosmetics. I don't really care for the actual Their Real push-up liner, the one that you twist up, but I really, really, really like this makeup remover. Um, the texture, it's a cream, so when you, when you squeeze it out of the bottle, it looks kind of like a lotion or a moisturizer, but when you put it on your skin, which I only use it around my eye area, it is not oily or greasy or anything like that, which is one of the main reasons why I love it. Now I just use like a drop of this or just my eye makeup on either a Q-tip or like a little piece of toilet paper or a tissue, whatever you want to use. And it gets my gel liner off, seriously, like the first swipe. So 
I'm pretty impressed with like the strength of it, but it still feels really gentle on your skin. So that's one of the main reasons why I love it. And not only that, it's not oily because I hate oil. Okay, and then my next favorite thing, this is something I've been wearing on my Instagram a lot lately. Um, it is a Kiko Cosmetics lipstick. And I know if you guys still wanna see a Kiko haul or my makeup haul from all the makeup I got in Europe, let me know and I will still film it. It's totally gotten away from me. It's all my fault. I really, really want to do a haul for it. I just haven't given myself the time to do it, unfortunately, but I have a ton of stuff that I got there. So the lipstick color is this right here. And for some reason, it doesn't say the numbers on the bottom of mine. I think I got like Bootsy ones, um, but this is actually a taupe lipstick. And some people really hate this. They made it very clear on my Instagram that I look like a corpse. Do you guys know my style? I actually kind of like looking dead with my lipstick. I don't know why, it's just the way it is. Um, but this is a taupe lipstick. And what I love about this lipstick is that it's really, really creamy, but it's also really pigmented. So a lot of times you either have one or the other. Um, I feel like this has both and it's also a little bit glossy. Right now, I think the only location that sells this brand Kiko in the US is in New Jersey. I don't know what their plans are to increase the amount of stores. Um, I thought it was a really cool store and I like the makeup that I've used so far. I feel like some of the items are like, nah, some of them are really cool. So it's just kind of like a, I don't know, kind of like with any makeup brand, you just have to like test and swatch stuff out to see if it's really worth it. <laughs> okay, so my next favorite thing is something I'm pretty excited about. It is the Glam Glow Super Mud Clearing Treatment Mask. Um, so it's the white one and this one is supposed to be like the clarifying if you have problem prone skin or if you have breakouts or acne or blackheads This one is supposed to help clear your skin, but I'm gonna tell you a story which makes me believe in this product I had one of those super painful like under the skin Pimples coming up. Oh, I hate that word because you know those things last like 10 to 15 days You can't touch it. There's nothing you can do about it and it just like throbs and aches and it's red. Anyway, so it was literally like day two that it started surfacing and exposing itself. And I was like so sad about it. So I put this mask on and I left a little like spot. So I had like a dark whatever there. I looked really stupid, but I left it there for a few hours actually. And I, I don't know if this has anything to do with it, but I'm gonna keep doing it if I get more of those under the skin blemishes but seriously like it went away the next day I've never had an under the skin blemish go away that fast so I am like totally standing by this and I'm gonna keep using it and I'm going to keep trying it on other blemishes that I have and I will keep you guys updated I've never found a product that actually treats the under the skin painful blemishes mainly because I just don't think they're supposed to I think that's more of like a hormonal something situation um but i don't know it went away the next day and i've never seen that happen on my skin before so i'm gonna keep trying this one out um these are expensive they're like 69 dollars a piece i would recommend if you can maybe like getting it and splitting it with a friend or something but i would definitely invest in this if you have problem prone skin okay my next favorite product is a lipstick and this is from girlactic you guys know i have a soft spot for this brand don't know what it is, I just really like the packaging and I like the products. So this lipstick is called Naked and I'm actually wearing it right now. It's a very pretty nude shade and it doesn't make you look dead. So all those people that wanna have a nude lipstick without looking like a corpse, I do recommend this one, but it has a very creamy texture. I'm actually wearing a lip gloss over it that I'm about to show you. But this lipstick is really, really pretty. It's long lasting, but I just really love the color. I think it's hard to find a nude shade. I think it's really hard to find a nude lipstick that has the right undertone. I feel like that's what a lot of people struggle with, which is why I post so many different nude lipsticks with like all sorts of different undertones. This one is definitely warmer and I actually like it. Normally I don't really care for warm lipsticks. Um, and then the lip gloss I'm wearing on top of it is also Girlactic and this one is called Just Nude and it is a warm nude. I don't even know if it's like peach. I think it's peach. 
more peachy than corally or apricot and it has little like tiny tiny gold flecks in it it's not like a glitter or sparkle or anything but it's really pigmented on its own but I just layered it on top of the naked lipstick because I wanted to okay so the next thing I'm gonna talk to you guys about is a hair product I know a lot of you ask me how I keep my hair healthy um, maybe it looks healthy on screen hopefully it does but I've been trying out a lot of different things right now what I'm really liking is this this is the TG hair reborn time extend moisture lotion and it says it cumulatively replenishes lost lipids to dry dull Hair. So this is what you put on when your hair is wet after you get out of the shower and you brush it and then you just blow dry Style it like normal. I don't know. I feel like well actually I don't feel like I know when I was on vacation I just got my hair done right before we left for Europe and my hair literally felt like hay when I was gone It felt so disgusting and dry And this one I started using when I got home because I forgot that I bought it when I lived in the Bay Area this was pretty expensive. I wanna say this is like $49 and I bought it from the hair salon. It is expensive. I really like it right now. I think, I feel like it's helping my hair after I blow dry it because now this is day two or three after I washed my hair and it still feels really soft and silky, almost like I got a blowout, but I didn't. Okay, so my next favorite things, and I don't, I think I've put these in favorites before. Um, there are the Wet n Wild lipsticks, the Ultra Vivid Matte, something matte lipstick because there's very little writing on the actual tube. I do love these lipsticks, and the two colors that I have here, uh, the first one is Cherry Bomb, and I did just film a look using this, and I posted a look on my Instagram where I use this lipstick, and I think it's really pretty. It's supposed to be a dupe for MAC Diva lipstick, and I just think it's like one of the prettiest fall shades you could have. And then this one that I have is Vamp It Up. I've had this one for a long time. This is a dupe for MAC Cyber lipstick. I actually think it's way better than Cyber. I would definitely buy this one over Cyber any day of the week. So I love these and I actually use Night Moth Lip Liner from MAC for both of these colors. I think it works nicely for both of them. Okay, next favorite thing is this brush from Crown. I feel like I always have a new Crown brush um, in my favorites, but you guys know I love cheap brushes. So this one is a duo fiber and if you know me, you know I'm obsessed with duo fiber brushes. Um, it's smaller than my normal fluffy ones. It's tapered and it's a little bit more dense. Um, so this is what I use for applying my highlighter to my cheekbones now because before I was using a dual fiber brush that was like like that and I couldn't refer it to you guys because it was in a kit that I bought like 500 years ago um, so now I have this one and I don't remember the name of it but I will link it down below so that way you guys can see it that's left in you Oh, so something I've been using in my videos as of late um, is this Manicadar powder. And this is, it's called the Dual Powder and it's the color C2 Warm Yellow. It's very light, as you can tell, it's definitely not like my foundation color. I'm pretty sure the purpose of it was to be a foundation. Here is a swatch of it. It's definitely very pigmented. The first day that I used it, I put way too much and it looked like I had one of those sunglass hands. So it was not good. It's definitely to be used in moderation. But I'm wearing it today and I have it just really lightly in this area. I try it, I don't bring it down in this area too much. So just here and you know, here in like my highlighting areas and I feel like it is really nice. I actually set my concealer using the product underneath my eye area and I feel like it doesn't cake throughout the day which is like a huge deal. I always advise that you don't use a foundation powder to set your under eye area but I don't know what it is about this one. I feel like it's got a very smooth texture. It just doesn't build up in your fine lines. Okay so the next two, well I guess it's just one thing that I'm really excited about. I don't know if you can tell right now. I don't have anything in my waterline which I think I feel like I've been talking about it all the time but Normally, I wear black in my waterline. It's like, I couldn't stop doing it. Um, and now I feel like I don't like black in my waterline anymore once I stopped. I've been using these, and these are the LA Girl gel liners. It's not a gel like in a pot. It's a gel in a stick or a pencil form. But these are amazing. And I have Whiten is one of my favorite colors. 
and I also brought the black one if you want a very black color. Well, the color is actually called very black, but if you want a black in your waterline that's pretty inexpensive, I would definitely recommend this one. The other favorite that I have is the color Aquatic. I posted it on my Instagram not too long ago. It's a very bright blue in your waterline. I actually used it in a tutorial too, but I can't find it. I don't know what's the deal with losing my favorite LA Girl stuff. I just wanted to show you and like talk to you guys about it because I feel like I have purchased so many colors and pencils for the waterline, but I don't know, like I swatch it on my hand and it works on my hand, but once I get home and I unwrap it and it's mine, I go and put it in my waterline and nothing shows up. I feel like it's super intense, the color, it's very white or it's very blue or black, whatever you wanna do, and it lasts all day long, it doesn't go away, so, I definitely have to recommend, I mean just in general, the formula, but not only that, the colors really stand out and they're very pigmented. One that I don't recommend is the color Champagne. It is like a champagne color, obviously. I tried to put it in my waterline and it just, I don't know, maybe it's because it's too similar to the color of my natural waterline, but I just feel like nothing really happened. It just added like a little bit of shimmer to it. Okay, how many more do I have? God. Okay, so next favorites. I always gotta have new lashes, right? I love finding new lashes. So these ones I use in my Makeup Geek Vegas Lights tutorial and they're from Juvia's Place or Juvia's Place. I'm sure I'm saying it wrong. And they say let's lash it out. I don't know if that's like the brand. Um, and then the style name is Esther, but they're very pretty. I do believe they are mink lashes, um, but they're full. They're really nice and they last a long time. I just think they look really good on my shaped eye. I'm super picky about fullness of lashes and the size of the band just because my eyes get really irritated very quickly. And these I can wear all day long. So I do recommend these. And then I actually tagged this place on Instagram. I had never heard of it before, but she made, she was really excited and she made a coupon code for you guys. So I believe it's Luster Lux and you get 10 or 15% off. Um, but I'll put all that information down below. And then of course, Coco Lashes. These are the ones that I'm wearing right now. They're very, they're like spiky, but not like chunky spiky. They're spiky, like a uh, flirty, wispy spiky. And they're called Goddess. And I've used these in tutorials before, but they are like out or available now. Um, they are dupes for, which I don't know if they were intended to be this, but they're dupes for the House of Lashes Iconic Lashes, which are super popular. They look really good on a lot of people. What I love about these is that they fan out, so they are shorter in the middle, I don't know, the front and then they fan out longer to the end. I think I have like almond shaped eyes. I think it just looks nice on my eye shape. I don't know, I just love these and I think these are like $5.99 um, on ladymoss.com. Last thing that I have for my favorites for the past month is the Vegas Lights Palette from Makeup Geek. I feel like before I started my YouTube channel, I was not a huge palette person. I still, I don't know, I don't think I am, but I end up using them a lot now. I try to like incorporate them more often into looks because I know how upsetting it is if you buy a palette and you don't end up using it. But I think this palette was really well put together. All the colors go together really nicely. I think it would look really good on all sorts of different skin tones and eye colors. If you have like blue or green eyes, this roulette shade is gonna like look ridiculously good on you. It has a good balance between matte and shimmer and sheen. Plus Desert Sands is a dupe for Uninterrupted by MAC, which is a big deal. <laughs> because that's like one of my favorite eyeshadows ever. I love Makeup Geek shadows. I also got the Vegas Lights pigments, which are really, really pretty. Um, I've used them in another tutorial that I have coming out very soon. Um, so I'm really excited about this palette and I think it's really well priced, just like all of Makeup Geek's products are. Oh, and I didn't, I haven't used these yet, so they're not like favorites, but I just got them and I kind of wanted to show them to you because I'm really excited. I'm not a huge lip tar fan, but I'm a huge fan of these colors. This is part of the, it had a name, the collection, Unknown Pleasures or something from OCC. But yeah, I just, I had to show them to you because I wanted somebody to be as excited as I am about it, even though maybe you're not, I don't know. Anyway, that wraps up my favorites video for September and very, very early October. As you guys may or may not know, I love filming favorites videos. They're one of my favorites because I love sharing new products with you guys and things that have really been working for me. I hope you're excited about Zoe. Uh, we're really excited to have her. Uh, maybe she'll be in more videos. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and thank you so much for watching.